Hello, welcome to the Black Mind Podcast. My name is Jeff. We just spent 20 minutes talking about cars. Surprise. surprise. Not actually. Me and Jeff have some surprise. strong opinions about cars. Surprise. And I'm like, cars go fast. Josh is like, I want a Datsun. I want a Gremlin. I I won't lie. From what I've heard about fucking Gremlins is they're actually fucking phenomenal cars. <laughs> see, like, here's the thing. is like, I could see Josh buying a Gremlin putting like a natural like a coyote or something crazy in it and then hating himself like <laughs> or get an absolutely board. hating himself because like because <laughs> like i could just see it like just you be like this car is great and then me getting it in and being like holy shit like this thing's amazing like and then every day being like josh i need to drive your car josh i need to drive your car josh i'm taking your car i'm fucking going to the races god God, I'm going to the drag strip, Dad. <laughs> and that would be the sound it would make, too. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Ah, Just... bah, 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 bah. <laughs> that, too. Just exact vo- the exact tone, exact everything. Mm-hmm. Oh. So this is good car talk. For, for like yeah, the, no, I, I will. For, I will freely admit that that was a fun little chat. Yeah, it was good. It was good time. Good time. Good time. Good time, eh, bye, eh. All right. Um. So let's go on to our first topic. Mm. Do you guys want to talk about the GPP? Because I got some news about the GPP. Oh. What about what about the GPPPP? It's dead boys. Praise Gabon. And what was GPP again? G Force Partner Program. Basically, it said that Republic of Gamers could not sell an AMD graphics card. And so after the GPP is now destroyed, everything's fine. Huh. So. Yay! Yeah, competition reigns supreme. Yay. Oh. Yay! Blessed to the gods of competition, make capitalism reign supreme. Death to the communists. Death to the Nazis, death to the socialists. Mm-hmm. You can hear one guy in the background going, mm-hmm. better dead <laughs> than red. Yeah. Um, By the way, it's me and Josh basically... here with, with Jeff today. Yeah. We, uh, we, forgot, to, we like... forgot to talk about that. Oh, whatever. I think anyone who's remotely here at all knows who we are. <laughs> Most even of the time. even if this is somehow someone's first podcast, they somehow know us. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Just as not. soon as you hear our voices. Ah oh, shit. I know these guys. Oh no. It's like ah oh, gross. Oh well, I, <laughs> I can't stop listening to them. Like I can't I can't find a pause button anywhere or go to do something else. Shit, I have to listen to this. So in other news, um, that means that Ares is now a useless brand. Um, that Ace is, is going to be pumping up and stuff like that. Um, but this is a good thing for us because this just means that we're going to get AMD or ROG again and stuff like that. And hopefully the Ares brand makes its way over to um, NVIDIA. With different cooler designs and stuff like that. That's the main thing I'm kind of hoping for because I miss the old ROG cards that were just like fucking insane. Um, but yeah, this is a good thing. I'm really kind of happy. Hopefully I'm, now we get... I'm, uh, uh, I'm a little interested in the fact that... Uh, mm-hmm. uh, I, I, I feel like... like uh, that with the, what's going on with the GPA and all that fun jazz is, mm-hmm. it, it's gonna be a weird thing when when it fucking all is said and done and just 
finally we can just move on with our lives and be happy. About the PA? Yeah. Okay. Um. Anyways, so that's done. Um. Sorry. Alan, you're working now. Yeah, I we started back yourself. today. We started back today, and I I got home, and I was actually feeling pretty good when I got home today because we had a short day today. We only worked for nine hours, and uh, mm-hmm. that's a short. That's a short day. Yeah, that's a short day. For that's me. a short day. Yeah, I remember my average day is twelve hour days, uh, and Saturdays usually tend to be ten. I don't work tomorrow, thank the heavens. But uh, I got home at like. 5 30 5 15 ate supper had a nice cold coke came downstairs played a bit of dark souls had to go back went upstairs to sit with the dogs for a bit and i just fucking passed out i remember waking up for a couple minutes posting a message in in the podcast chat and then passing right the fuck back out and then i woke up and i looked at my phone i'm like well shit it's i'm fucking 10 minutes late and then i and then i got up he was and I went like back he was downstairs. scared guys he was scared. He was like, he came on the show and he was like in a panic. It was like really funny because it was like, we've never seen Alan like in a panic before. <laughs> we've, we've seen him before, like upset and stuff like that at us, but like never in a panic like that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the yeah. thing is, so, is, uh, is, is just how t- the today's been a weird day. Well, ain't that every day? Well, the reason why it's even weirder for me is the fact that the uh, today is the, the day that we started. Today, this Friday, May the 4th, may the 4th be with you, um, is also the end of our payday, uh, pay cycle. So we literally started on the day of an end of a pay cycle. And we're like, fucking God damn it. Yay, we get paid nothing. We get paid for one day's work. Good job, guys. We're also on a week. Good we're job. also on a weekly pay rate now instead of a bi-weekly pay rate, which fucking sucks. That sounds even better. That I have sounds to like get the used, best. I have to get used to it now, and I'm just hating myself because I'm like, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. Oh. I'm six, right now six making a me me. I was gonna say right. you can just pretend and be like, "Oh yeah, I got paid the second uh, second second a week, not this first week." Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I could always wish I could be paid more, but getting paid more means more blue collar work, which I yeah. don't want to do. Yeah. Well, nobody wants to work more, but we do. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So yeah, um, yeah, you're working now. You're tired. You hate yourself. You you need a beer. <laughs> Things get zonked out again. No, yeah. I Alan, I would not say that. You need to talk to you and get some weed sent to you. No, stop. <laughs> that was Cease really funny. and desist. I've already so, had weed so, offered to me three times today. So, so Alan met my friend, Beautiful. who is a great guy, fantastic human being, um, <laughs> not a terrible, broken human being like me, completely the opposite, like loves humanity, thinks the best of people, outgoing versus me who... Looks at some some lady could be getting punched in the gut and like destroyed, and I would just continue walking. But uh, he was like, he him and Alan were in the chat, and him and Alan started going at it about weed, and it was the most funniest thing ever. It was so funny. It was worth like exactly like the ten minutes of pain that happened afterwards. Uh, I guess I guess the moral of this story is. Alan needs to smoke more weed. No. <laughs> the moral of the story is don't let Alan in, in the same room. Uh, I personally don't care if people smoke weed. I just... It's something that I don't like. It's something where you see the consequences of like the harder stuff and then you go, okay, no. 
right? Like that's that's my opinion on it. Is like I've seen the consequences of the harder stuff, and it's for me, it's like okay, like the only reason why I like legalization is because now I can guarantee that the stuff that you're getting is going to be the stuff in the seventies. Ah, uh, well, the stuff and in the seventies wasn't all that clean. No, it wasn't great either. Like I hate to break it to you, uh, believe it or not, surprisingly enough, the the new the new the stuff that you can get nowadays is actually surprisingly cleaner. Yeah. But um, I, I have no pro- I don't approve of legalization. In all honesty, I I feel like there's going to be a lot of problems with it, and there's going to be a very fucking long teething time for it. Like, it's going to be, like, a solid fucking, like, decade before they get through all those teething problems. And there's still going to be more problems to go through because, like, they're just going to pop up. And, like, personally, I just think that weed should be something that should be, like, legalized in the strictest sense of the word. Of it's, it's not illegal to possess or to smoke, but if you are found operating something or in a or in a situation that requires you to be of co- uh, capable of consciousness or cognitiveness, uh, and you are found under the influence of weed, that should be a fucking ten year sentence. Yeah, because like yeah. I hate to break it to you, weed slows you down, and oh, it yeah. fuck and it fu- and it fucks up your like cog- cognitive abilities. So like. Oh yeah, it's it's not a good system. And and the idea that like, like I know that alcohol we we've got legal and we don't have like very strict fucking laws against it. And they're like mm-hmm. you can't drink and drive, you can't be drunk out in public, you can't. Uh, I think there's like two other things related to it that you can't be something yeah, you, something with it. Um, yeah, but like. They aren't like again. Alcohol isn't as bad as weed. Alcohol lasts in your system for I think like what five hours at most, maybe ten if you have uh, if you drink heavy. But at that point, that you're drinking heavy to fucking party. Whereas weed, weed will linger with you for like <sighs> linger. List weed stays in your system for up to like a month. Yes, and it, it like I can't I can't get behind it. Oh yeah, but what do I know? I'm not I'm not a politician nor a lawmaker. I'm just a guy with a microphone. People apparently listen to me. Yeah. Yep. Um, just we... assume that we have all wrong opinions. Yes. <laughs> Please this might all get edited out. Uh. This might. Josh, do we have a weekly divinity update? Uh, we do. Although I didn't get very far in this one because, my God, this area is jam-packed with shit. Um, so me and my buddy were kind of finished off the graveyard area and we're going back to town. We're like, OK, so wh- what do we want to do next? And we're like, well, there's this we found these uh, in the graveyard, the grave, these special gravestones. They gave us areas we can go check out these uh, hidden uh, was it, these hidden tre- treasure chests. Apparently there's loot in them. So I was like, hey, let's go where these are on the map because there's bound to be some cool shit here. So we checked them out on the map. We fought some demon reindeer, which was pretty hysterical because they're literally trying to praise something like they're trying to praise another reindeer. And then we jumped in and they're like, get rid of the God chosen. And they're like, oh, God damn it. Everyone just knows who I am at this point. So I was like, yeah, I'm the God chosen. Pretty much just fucking whatever let's go kill <laughs> gonna kill you anyways we murdered the fuck out of the satanic uh, satanic reindeer uh then did more walking around uh then we finally decided hey let's go to uh this area on the bottom right corner of the map and that's the kind of desert slash oil f- refinery place and we're like, oh, this is kind of weird because I scoped it out with the camera. I want to see what the hell the map's like. And it's like, oh, it's like kind of desert or whatever. It's like, OK, it's be kind of cool. So as we're going in, 
I start realizing, oh man, there's a lot of fighting going on. A lot of a lot of fighting. Like there's dead people everywhere as you're walking in in this place. And you're like, okay, things are gonna get interesting. And it turns out that the magisters uh, of this, the main evil foes of this game, are just murking people left and right. People are just trying to have lives. They're just dying and dying and dying and just trying to get rid of the sorcerers, which are the like you know the the person you're playing as in the game. Uh, so we had some uh, fun murdering the fuck out of them. <laughs> Just like as soon as we like, it's like, whoa, 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 let me talk to these people first, then we can kill them so we can get some extra XP. They're like, yeah, that seems like a good plan. <laughs> that seems like a good plan. So uh, we talk to them, murder them, and then keep continuing with our quests. Uh, we kind of stopped around the point where we're trying to save a dude who's kind of like hung up by his wrists. Mm -hmm. uh, he's on the top of the tie like the most biggest uh, tower you can think of. We uh, managed to free the guy during battle. Um, but the thing is, as this battle is going on, a whole fuck ton of oil uh, blobs are just attacking us. Like a fuck ton of oil blobs are just killing the shit out of us. And we're like, man, where are these coming from? And then we just figured out, wait, why don't we just set the oil on fire? So the entire, any, all you can see, fire, fire everywhere, just fire. <laughs> and we're like, hey, that made the map pretty easy. And they realized, oh, no, this is not over. There's fucking uh, fire uh, slugs now coming out of nowhere. They're all covered and they get buffed from the fire. And we're like, shit. And, that, and that's and kind of where that, we started. It was at that moment you realized you fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Or like if we had one person who just can coat like a decent area of rain like just a lot of rain that would help too but it was like no it was it was too far gone we're just kind of boned at that point and everyone's at like quarter health or less and we're like okay we gotta try this again later <laughs> it's just getting too bonkers uh we're freaking even to a point the guy that we're saving uh i think one of us accidentally like hit him with a spell or something and he started attacking us for no reason so we're like what the fuck Good so job, he just guys. Yeah, yeah. Freaking, ah, oh, freak. There's a, there's a lot of shit going down in that little small town area because uh, the magis the magisters are trying to get rid of all the sorcerers they can because they think that would stop the void, and the void is another evil force trying to take over the world for whatever reason. And uh, really, it just comes down to the point of like, man, all these people are just trying to take control of this simple Earth realm for no goddamn reason. Because they're all evil. <laughs> yeah, just because they're all evil. I'm like, man, at least I'll let there be some sort of MacGuffin of like, yeah, control this, you control everything. I, I want kind of that almost, but I was like, whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's like, man, like these Magisters, I hope they have a really good reason for why they're doing all this evil shit. Like, I know we're not far in the story yet, but, mm -hmm. I, but me and my friend are hypothesizing, like, I'm pretty sure that the Magisters are working with the Void at this point. Like you're just, they're just working with them, and they're like, "Hey, if you get rid of all the sorcerers, we'll, we'll get, it'll give you more power." Oh yeah, totally, totally. This will let's totally give you a great benefit. Uh, what backstabbing? No, we're not no. going to back. We're not going to backstab. <laughs> Who, why would we backstab you? <laughs> we're not just like evil. Uh, uh, what was it? Evil blobs from the freaking void? Nah, we're not. No, nah, we're not going to shape shift into something and then stab you to death. Nah. We're not maniacal beings. <laughs> We're not like fucking Cthulhu from the freaking abyss. <laughs> no, not at all. We're way better than that. We're, we're yeah. a lot nicer. Yo, we're, yeah. We're, we're so much nicer. But Frank, there's a lot of depression in this game, too. Like, saved a family from getting murdered, but it turns out it was too late and one of the kids died. Of course, this is off screen type of thing, but it's like I saved the family, but this one kid got murked and the entire family's fucking depressed. So I was like, this is this sucks. I was like, man, even though I have restoration or restoration potions and, or not potions, the scrolls for rising people from the dead, I can't just get this kid back to his feet with the stupid scroll I have in my hand. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> but uh, other than that, it was like, man, these these magisters suck. 
and I kind of just like I've just been slowly like just wiping them off the map over time because uh, over time it's like, oh, maybe they have like a good reason for this. Maybe they're like not totally cartoonishly evil. And it's like, no, though they are. They all no, are they're cartoonishly evil. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, God, fuck it. They all die. I don't care at this point. It's like even if, like even if there's like a good reason why you shouldn't. I'm just murking them all because it's like I have feel like there's no good reason why you should be around anymore. It's like I mean, Frank. The reason is so that way then you can be a reason. Yeah. Although there's one plus side to this freaking questing around in this one area is uh, you get all the way down to the beach area of this of the same oil sands, and yep. there's this little just nice like mom. Basically, a mom in the magister robes, all red and white and whatever. She's just making pie, making it all cheerful and be like, yeah. oh, how's it going? Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? Blah, 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 blah. I'm just making this some nice pie. Never made a pie in forever. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, you're like a breath of fresh air. Oh, you're, oh, so, you're nice. so nice. Oh, you're so cool. Oh, and I was oh, like, I hug uh, you. But, but the dumb thing is she's standing in front of a cave. Like she's like at an outpost in front of a cave. And I was like. And she told me his stories of like, oh, yeah, people go in the cave and they just don't come out. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. And I was like, hey, I'm going to go in this cave now. And she's like, hey, hey, don't go in that cave. And I was like, come on, let me go in the cave. I like you. You like me. Let's just just let me go in the cave. I'll solve this problem. I'll make them come back out. Just let me go in the cave. I walk in again. She's like, fucking, I'll kill you. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it's like the but, only magister but, I ever liked is she wants to murder me now. It's like, <laughs> it's like, that's, you're that's like a pole. That I can tell a Zelda story. That's basically the same thing where I walked on some girl's flowers three times and then she beat the shit out of me. <laughs> did she like freaking did the RKO and then like even when you're trying to crawl away? Me. I assume it does. If it doesn't, <laughs> like she just standing on the ropes being like, I will show you the flowers, Rob. Yeah, no, she does. Like, the and then just like, oh my god, oh, 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 I can't it, out of nowhere. And you just hear a cracking of table. <laughs> and uh, no, she does the RKO out of nowhere. Like she just runs and just fucking just RKOs the shit out of you. You're down to like a half of a heart. And yeah, you're trying to crawl was. away. And she's like, where are you going? And she jumps up in the air, does a frog splash on your back, and you're like, Ugh! No, stop. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the, my adventure of like just trying to figure out what this area is all about was just like, oh shit, everything just went down. Everything went down. <laughs> it just sucks. Real bad. Yeah. Uh, more adventures next week. Avengers next week? No, more av- adventures next week. I mean, I'm sure someone watched the Avengers. Did anyone watch Avengers? I did. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Because I, I play way too many video games. Josh did Thanos is Thanos Hitler. <laughs> uh, has has Josh not seen the movie? I have I don't not care. seen the movie either. I, I've, I've so I far can't talk about people, it because it's still it's still within the month a uh, month week of uh of within a month of it being released, so I can't talk about it. Mm, you're okay, fine. Fine. Like you have no idea. Like I've been trying uh, to be like as vague as possible when I talk about it. Oh, uh, but at the same time, I'm just like, uh, I want to talk about it. It's like, oh, I want to uh, see what people think about this certain thing that happened in the movie. Uh, All I know is that like. All I know is that it's going to be good. It's a turning point of this. It's a big turning point. Everyone dies. Jeff and is, your not, dog. Fa- Jeff and is your- not far off from the point of the movie. Everyone dies. <laughs> oh, so Iron Man and Captain America are alive. So Captain America is going to die. Great. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, and uh, then Twitter- Captain America is good. And then Iron Man's just going to be hit- sitting over his body being like, was it all worth it? Was it all worth it? Well, the funny thing is, uh, Twitter is just exploding with memes right now of like, I don't feel so good. And everyone turning into dust. 
And it's like, I'm oh, not, I'm not making I, any comments about that. I, yeah, I, I like, love Twitter. You, I really do. I love the fact that that's a meme on Twitter. But I know for a fact that I actually cannot talk about the movie because of those fucking memes. Oh, I know. Like, Cause, like when I was watching also, also, there, Twitter, there's also people who are like, "Damn, Thanos is a thick daddy." I'm like, "Stop!" <laughs> it is time you know to Thanos. I, it is time you know to. It? it is time to stop. It is stop time it. to stop. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, Alan. Alan, you you thought you could explain escape the flavor stone, flavor town stone. Nope. That 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 you failed at that one. That was a bad <laughs> joke. That was I've a bad seen joke. that meme floating around since they announced the, the Infinity War trailer, and that was like I I like that one. I ruined it. Flavor Town memes were great. But not as good as this one. Friggin' yeah, like the Stupid memes on Twitter, though. Like when I was first seeing the memes, I was like, I don't get why is everyone doing the same thing over and over. Then I made the two and two connection of what came out recently and what this meme could be referencing. I was like, oh, I heard another podcast talking about it. And I was like, oh, that makes sense now because a lot of them are pretty good. Eh. It's just like how everyone's just photoshopping the shit out of all of freaking almost everything now. Like almost everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I made a joke of like on, on Facebook of like, I need to make this stupid meme. It's going to be really stupid. And then somebody commented on it being like PM sent. And it's like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, so someone thought this would be a great meme. Somebody economy. else agreed with this idea, <laughs> and then they didn't make it. So now uh, I'm posting it. Oh well. Someone thought it would be great on the meme stock market. Yeah, the meme stock market's a good meme. Did you miss me with every bullet so far? Yep. Yep. That's life. Um. It, so Zelda is pretty good. So is Witcher. That's oh, you've been, uh, you've been playing still in the those first games. area. I I put up Kingdom Come Deliverance to play Witcher or um, Zelda. That's and no, let me that, tell you, that, I'm not upset about that. That's pretty fun. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Witcher is a better game. Nobody's answering. Nobody's saying anything. What? Who? Sorry. Nope. Nobody's okay. saying anything about my comment that Witcher's a better game. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of boils down to what's your flavor? Because, I mean, one is like, oh, it's cartoony and has furries and shit's going on. And then the other one is cartoony and it has shit going on and it has furries in it. Like, I mean, it's just down to your flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Witcher, w- Witcher is like everyone just just. There's a lot of fucking that goes on in Witcher. It's like Game of Thrones. Like no, it's like almost no different. There's a lot of fucking. There's a lot of fucking. Yeah, there's like, a. Lot can I fuck of fuck. that tree? You can fuck yeah. that tree. <laughs> you can fuck that tree. In Zelda, it's like th- there's not. It's, no, in it's, Zelda, it's you found a dungeon. Okay, so how can I bullshit a method so I can solve this in five seconds? Yes, that's Zelda. That's the loop in five that's, seconds. That's the loop. It's like, okay, I have all these tools. How can I bullshit it? <laughs> How do I solve this? Oh, it's really easy. Oh, okay. Okay, so if I use the bomb here at exactly five seconds and then use my surfboard for exactly two seconds, then I can actually float over there for two seconds more, then bomb again, and then get myself over this wall. Shh, fuck yeah. How long did that take you? Five hours. <laughs> 45 minutes of just pure death. <laughs> How long did it take you to do? Five fucking hours. Are you a speed runner or anything? No. No. <laughs> no. How, uh, how, how long did it take you to figure that out, this out? Too fucking long. Far, <laughs> far too long. 
I mean, it's going to be. It's not as long as it's going to take until Z- Disney fires the LucasArts exact. Fuck, man, she is. She. I have never seen a studio exec fuck up as bad as she has. Well, I mean, why what, what is everyone acting like this is a terrible thing? Disney's still making money. Tell me, can someone tell me no, why? Because uh, the or, the, what, it, or what she did? Because episode seven fucking bombed. Oh, that's no, why. Episode episode eight. Episode eight. Um, sorry, I I yeah. Episode seven was like a great movie that it was everyone. A, it was a good movie. It was not okay. It was, but unfortunately, because of by proxy of it being related to fucking eight, it has dropped a, a fucking three sets of eight <laughs> rungs for me. Point and uh, a half. Like it went from being like a solid good movie to being an okay movie because of fucking eight. Because I because I know what fucking seven leads into, and I'm like I don't care anymore. <laughs> Yeah, you are a bastard of a child that should be fu- and fucking your ch- your sibling is going to damn you for the rest of your life because you will it's be eternally be you will be eternally tied to that fucking monstrosity. Like, don't get it's me wrong. Really don't fun. get me wrong. Episode episode eight's a fun movie until you stop to think about it. And unfortunately, episode Star Wars. Is... Unfortunately, Star Wars is a uh, is a series that you actually probably should actually like straight up listen to. Episode eight is the movie that you like, like in like five years, we're going to be talking about how terrible it was. And then we're still going to be talking about how terrible it was. Yep. Like, it's like how episode five is like the worst critically. It's like, it's like, no, <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's the most amazing movie. And that's like. I could get why like people didn't like it because it was like, oh, you watch it and like it's like the worst downer ever, but like episode six makes up for it. And that's kind of what I'm hoping happens with this one. But I doubt it. Fucking fucking uh JJ Abrams has his fucking work cut out from JJ Abrams is gonna have to like redo everything. Yeah. Uh, like Luke's gonna here, have to here's, like resurrect. Here's the thing about fucking episode eight: is episode eight after how after how they set up episode eight from episode seven, all episode eight mm-hmm. had to do was not walk up on stage and shit itself. And not only did it do that, it rolled it rolled around in that shit sh- in that shit and reveled in it. And I'm like, <sighs> the only way that episode eight could be better, in my opinion, is if it had Jerome Gilla rising out of the ground in a Don Cherry-esque suit while screaming, did someone call for an oiler? (laughs) And like rising the Stanley Cup just out of the ground, just like this massive titan of just Jerome Aginla, just out of the ground, eyes flaming, like screaming and just thundering. Did someone want to meet my friend Stanley? No, Come on, uh, that would be really. That nah. would be hilarious. That would save that movie. Uh, I don't know what would save that movie at this point. Jerome McGinley rising out of the water like a fucking god. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Here's a crazy idea of what would save this movie at this point. Good writing. Yes. Ha! And Jerome McGinley rising out of the water, screaming, "You want?" <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's my idea. I'm really tired today. I had a really long day. Uh, I had a kind of bullshit day, so yeah. not feeling it. Just I'm like, fuck. Uh, I mean, you also didn't have to do write a design document. Yeah, I mean, I did want it to help you, but it was like, dude, you're you said you had to go to work at that certain point. And I was like, well, I'm off at work at that certain point. So you're like, so, so what we should do is we should do some work tonight. I'm hearing. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or either tonight or tomorrow, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other thing I'm going to say is that they're fun and easy to make. And it's really useful when you have a template that is great. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Um, Even though there's the, a lot of words on there that you don't understand, you'd be like, I, I can figure this out. I, I don't understand what this word for. What, what's the dictionary for it? Okay, that's what it means. Okay. Which is really funny because now the dictionary definition for it says uh, gender <laughs> as well. What? Yeah. Hold the up. The dictionary definition of it has the word uh, gender in it. I want to string oh boy. Like several thousand people up like from the fucking rafters now. It used to refer to things as previously mentioned or easily identified, referring to an animal or child of unspecified unspec- sect, uh, referring to fact situation previously mentioned, known or happened, using it to define a person, it's me, using a normal subject position in statement about time, distance, or weather, used in the normal subject or object position when a more specific subject or object is given later in the sentence. You to emphasize the following part of a sentence, the situation or circumstance, the general thing, ex- exactly what is needed or desired, sex appeal, sexual intercourse, <laughs> denoting a person or thing that is exceptionally fashionable, popular, or successful at a particular time. In children games, the player who catches has to catch it. Origin. And then, yeah, okay, Jeff, I guess I was wrong. Jeff, cease and desist. What? Because that's not, because the way you were like, it, it, in reference to a gender, I'm like, I'm like, if it's like gender pronoun, if it, if it had said gender pronoun anywhere in there, I would have been like, no, people need to be fucking murdered. But no, you fucked up, so I'm not mad anymore. I, Several thousand people don't need to be strung up by the rafters anymore. Only Jeff does. <laughs> three days Jeff's going to be hanging from the roof of the London drugs choking himself out <laughs> just bleeding like Jordan Peterson is going to do with half of the United States at this rate oh my god fuck uh, you know what's really fucking funny is the fact that uh the fact he was that... on Bill Maher. He was on Bill Maher, and it's like he's like, I don't, you know, as a as a person who lived in America, it's very scary how polarizing it is. And then like the whole entire panel is like, you know, we have to lecture these people, and it's like, it's like, no, I, I, I it's like it's like you're sitting there, and you're just watching. It's like Jordan Peterson, generally correct when he says that that everyone else burn them with, with fire. It's like, oh my god, you guys are imbeciles. This is the reason the Democrats lost. And they're on fire. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Eh. Oh no. Okay, Gosh, here, here, you're setting up a... Here's the thing with me with, with the, what's going on with Jordan Peterson is I'm like I, I I enjoy Jordan Peterson. I don't agree with him on everything, but I'm sitting here listening to like somebody complain about him. And, like, the context of the complaint was, like, Jordan Peterson fucking, uh, it, like, how could everybody treat Jordan Peterson when Jordan Peterson makes a comment about fucking how art was was dis- was created because of religion? And I'm like, no, no, his, his comment was art was spawned through religion because you'd make statues or pictures related to the gods or goddesses back in ancient times, and it spawned from there. For the longest time, art was incredibly tied, incredibly close to the church. Yes, religion has a very big hand in the creation of arts. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> I don't. Whereas, you know, like uh, I, I nearly had a fucking aneurysm when I fucking read that. I'm like, that is not the context of that statement. Fuck off. And this is a person I listen to to fucking, like, uh like I listen to him for fucking videos and stuff like that. And I'm just like, some days I'm like, what the fuck am I listening to? And then other days I'm like, no, no, I can agree with that. It, it's weird because it's like, it's like every, it, these people don't live in a section of reality. It's like, it's like they live on the internet and it's like, Oh, well, no, this guy, oh, this, you're this, that this, kind of person. This person, like I have no pro- problem with some fucking, 
uh, like him like right. disagreeing with Jordan Pearson, and like he and he actually tried to make a point about Jordan Pearson where he's like, he's a bit of a fucking regressive in a sense, and I'm like, well, kind of in the sense of religion or towards abortion because Jordan Pearson is very adamantly against abortion, like, and I can understand his reasoning why, but at the same time, I I wouldn't call him regressive because he's like not he's like no no we don't need a theological state we don't need anything like that, and entirely he's. F- fucking liberal beyond all reasons and it's just like like how like i love like i love the dude i really do i want his fucking discord server but i do fucking fully on i do fully fucking like look at him some days and i go like what the fuck is wrong with you yeah but uh uh but what another, another funny thing is is the fact that um the people who like look at jordan peterson go he's he's fuck he's a fucking nazi and i'm just like how no <laughs> how <laughs> like it, it's just i i get really worried for the fucking world when uh one of the big things related to it is the fact that like all of them all of them is uh <clears throat> is the fact that uh like the people who like hate on Jordan Pearson don't actually pay attention to what he's saying. They just assume he says something. They assume he's making a point about Nazis. Nazis and all that stuff. But like I sit down and I look at him and I go, I'm like, no, he's he's very much an advocate against Nazism and communism. And I that's the reason why I enjoy listening to him, because he's he's actually he is a fucking intellectual. Mm-hmm. Next topic. Sorry. Next topic. Do you want? Do we want to talk about the garage sale that you're setting up? Oh, right. You, sure. You need to talk about it, buddy. Yeah. So, <sighs> seems like every it seems like every other year I'll just do a garage sale, just get rid of all the fucking collector shit I have, mm-hmm. and then I'll get more collector shit. Just an endless cycle of like, oh man, I got all this collector shit. Let's sell it. Oh man, I got all this money. Oh, look at all this collector shit I can get. So it's just, of, it's, and I'm it's, like, it's, I got space for it. it. It's it's an ever continuing cycle of pain and misery. Yep, yep, exactly. I just keep it's like a goldfish, <laughs> goldfish to a ten minute or to five minute memory of like, oh, I didn't been to this side of the bowl before. Oh, I, <laughs> I haven't seen this side of the bowl either. Oh, wait, here's this side of the bowl. Mm. But yeah. Um, just slowly making a list of stuff I can like pull on out through through my closet slash room and going like I haven't seen this in forever. You're going in. I haven't like oh this thing was okay, but I'm throwing this in. Just all the stuff I was thinking of like getting rid of and just trying to free up some space. Uh, and also now it's probably a good time just to talk about like uh, if if was there any item that you found at a garage sale or any item that you lost at a garage sale that you're like, oh man, I found this item at the garage sale and it was awesome. Or my parents sold this and I'm still mad at them after all these years. <laughs> no, my, my, my feelings are pretty much fine. You know, mm. I'm okay with what they did. Um, um, <laughs> You're like, I'm not bitter. Nope. I'm not. No, there was one that wasn't lost at a garage sale. Oh. Was it an action uh, figure? No. It was an Atari 2600. It was my mom's Atari 2600 that oh. my mom decided that nobody wanted. It's kind of like a antique at this point. Kinda. So she just said, we're throwing this away. I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage, because no one gives a fucking shit anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> like, you saying that is kind of like when people said, like, oh, no one gives a shit about comics. Like, the Superman thing? The <laughs> total fad. <laughs> uh... But yeah, like, I'm sure I must have lost some shit in a garage sale. Or did my parents ever do garage sales? 
No, I think it's more of along the lines of like, oh, we're just going to get rid of some of the shit to second glance. You never really bother to do a garage sale because of all the prep you have to do. Yeah. But the, but the one or two times that we did do a garage sale, I, I actually end up making more money than my parents because some of the stuff I was selling was be like, wow, this is actually a good looking action figure. Not even touched or anything, just a little dusty. And I'm like, yeah, yours for like 15 bucks. And the guy's like, yeah, that's a good deal because the thing's old as shit. Like it's probably been in my closet for like, I don't know, three years or something. <laughs> so was, so people look at this stuff and go, wow, this is a good deal. Wow. I'm like, oh, wow. yours. Wow. Yeah. Although Ooh. my stuff was priced a little more pricier, but when people come by my garage, like come by and know what they're looking for and know what it is, they could be like, that's a fucking good deal. I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> it's like, it's not rock bottom, but it's still a good deal. I mean, good deals are good deals, bud. Yeah. It's funny because my parents are I mean, like, five you know, bucks are five bucks, bud. Yeah, my parents are like, oh, sell this, sell that. Stereotypical garage sale, you know, things you find at garage sale. And me and I'm like, dump this geek thing, dump that geek thing. Okay, let's dump this other geek thing. Man, I got these stupid pre-order items. I could try to dump it, but I'll probably just give it a second glance. And they're probably just going to throw it in the trash. Because <laughs> there's like, man, I have like a couple of pre-order items. It's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Because they're like a mixture of posters and calendars and like tiny little figures. It's like, what are you going to do with this? I don't know. Um, What else? Hate yourself less. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's just kind of filling my knack drawer at this point. The knack yeah. drawer. I have a knack drawer. You have a just, knack drawer. I have a knack drawer. You have a it's, you have a fucking no. knick knack drawer. God damn it. I mean, it's like full of like headphones, controllers, spare parts, tape, um, old DSs and old uh, Game Boy Advances because Pokemon. <sighs> it really is so, fucking. <laughs> Some keychains, paperwork. It is a knack drawer. It is a knack. <laughs> it is a knack drawer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just glancing over it. And I'm like, there's that thing. <laughs> there's that it thing. is a fucking knick knack drawer, and I'm fucking disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. So. Uh, yep. Um, we have to talk about the greatest app ever that Jeff came up with. No. And it's called Surveillance App. What is it? It's, it's, it's your app game app idea? Is your, is your game idea or is it just an it app? It tells you war is internal. Just an what app. the fuck? <laughs> I just didn't like this. No, no. He, it's, in the, it's in the fucking, uh, it's in the topic list. It's his first fucking top, topic of great <laughs> app ideas. An app that tells you war is eternal when watching porn of all things what? Jeff, I, Jeff I don't, stop I don't get it I don't get <laughs> it help. like what's what's your uh, what's your idea like it's it, it just so all it is it's just called surveillance app all it does uh-huh. is it sends you an email telling you the activities that you've done on your phone it's all it does and when you watch porn it literally pops up a space marine and says to you, "Brother, look into my eyes. Do not be tempted. Do not be tempted by her. She's not with your time. Breasts are temporary. War is eternal." I don't know. Breasts are pretty internal too. I mean, breasts are temporary, Josh. No, well, I actually kind of said that wrong. I said internal. Even though I meant eternal? to say eternal, eternal. eternal. <laughs> yeah. Their breasts are eternal. I mean, they I, again, they're both inter- eternal and internal. I mean, they're an internal object. Yes, I will give you that. But <laughs> but war is eternal. Mm. And never is this stops. not a great app idea? I I don't know. You need like I a told game. Linus it, and he and he literally hasn't talked to me for five days. You need like a game to go with it or something, some decent idea that would make it like, oh, this is a worth item. This, I will totally have all my permissions voided and, and <laughs> fucking poke your fingers in my butt hole. Yeah, I'll totally have your fingers poke. collection and then tells me war is eternal. <laughs> 
<sighs> fucking god damn it. It's like, funniest it's, thing it's ever. like that stupid Smosh app that all it does is a sound activated app that just set, it tells you to shut up every time you say anything or, or noise happens. It's like, I'm not sure if it's for a dumb skit or his actual app, but it's like, yeah, of course you would do this because because your thing is to shut up. And now you made it into an app. It's like, yeah, you get crazy amounts of money because who, who the fuck doesn't want it? This is this is the greatest app idea ever because all it would do is like you would just charge it for free and basically it's a piece of malware. <laughs> oh God, yeah, of course, ads everywhere, ads yeah. all over place. Yeah. Put ads uh, well, in your ads. Watching porn, you could, you put... could make you could fill the screen with ninety eight percent ads. Well, you make sure they're porn ads, so the person's not like you know. They're not just like they're if they're watching porn, there needs to be porn ads because it might slow down their actual porn. But they're like, well, at least I got this porn ad so I can still whack it off here. I mean, you got to think you got to think about the common man that's downloading this terrible app. This is a great app, Josh. How dare you say that? Oh, I mean, such a good app. You so much porn advertising on there, man. Like, I don't know how you got them all. You got <laughs> Caught them all, every single one of them. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Terrible fucking apps. God damn it. Look, I am funny. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually being funny. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the best joke I ever heard. Thanks, man. I needed a laugh. Oh, Hang me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny about this. <laughs> oh, the, the phrase is so funny. Oh, I'm funny. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yes, Jeff, uh, you're a right riot. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. You're a stand-up a comedian. Stand-up comedian. Be. Yeah, should you be. should be. You should be in Vegas, like, you know, every, like, three days a week. What's what's this about peanuts and stuff like that? And my gender doesn't define who I am? I Roars applause. Uh... Roars applause. So is that my New York apartment watching dick pics of the soul? Oh, stop hurting me so. Please. I was hurting my black friend, Alan. Like, I, you're hurting me. You're hurting me in so many different ways, Jeff. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, this is so good. Oh. I don't know why you want to stop it. You want to continue. No, I want to. You want to continue. Alan. Alan. Uh. I really wanted to fucking stop, though. <laughs> like I really wanted to stop and I wanted to stop right fucking now please uh, I had a I had a long uh, day at work even though it was fucking short stop it this is some uh, fucked up shit dude it's like I, I you're like man I'm just gonna leave this podcast I am <laughs> I am ready ready to fucking just go to fucking sleep now and Jeff just hurt me deeply <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you even more that depends I don't think you can click on the link bud GPP ended good riddance from PC Master Race I mean I'll cl click that later but I mean, I we can decide either to end it now or or do we have another topic? Do we? I don't know. Do we? Do we? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm looking it over. And I don't see one, so hmm. I don't know. I'm just gonna God, I'm just gonna tab over the porn, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's some good porn. Yep, good porn. Thank you for listening to Black Mind Podcast. <laughs> We're Ew. just going to call it there. We're just done. Yep. yep. Yeah. Thank you for listening to the Black Mind Podcast episode. Oh, before, 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 before we go any further, I now legally know how to save these two people's lives in this chat. I got my fucking oh, first, yeah, I got my fucking first day of training done on fucking Monday and it's 
it was fucking funny when my fucking instructor at one point made a comment. It's like, hey, do you want to know how to get really drunk really quick? And I was like, what are you talking about? And fucking. Did you have a turkey baster up your ass? No. You want to know how? You want to know how to do it, Jeff? I will tell you after the podcast. I am not telling it to the world. Tell me now. No, you will. You will hear after the podcast. Okay, get the podcast. I want to get drunk uh, again. You will. You will hear after the podcast. Come on. I want to get drunk right. now live on the podcast. Fucking d- okay. d- d- do the outro okay. and I'll tell you. Thank you for listening to Black Mike Podcast, episode 147. You can listen to us every Thursday on blackmikepodcast.com. You can also watch us on YouTube and shit. Fuck. Good night. Have a good night. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>
those cars are big. They are big, and it's surprisingly spacious, whereas the Mustang, it feels small and tight. I The thing, I would agree with you on that 100%. Like, that's the one thing I noticed when I sat in my boss's challenger for the first time was like i'm sitting in there and i'm like i can actually move yeah no like yeah. That, and that's that, the that's, thing and like that is a thing with a lot of the pony cars that have been coming out like uh the camaro the camaro looks like it should have a big interior it doesn't no it doesn't um what's the other one i know the, Do- the dodge viper also was looked like it should have a big interior and then it didn't it, it doesn't doesn't <laughs> Most of that interior's engine. <laughs> um, I'm forget, I forget what the other North American company that made a pony car was. Because there's Ford. Uh, Ford, Camaro. Uh, there's, there's Chevy, Chevy Ford, Ford, and Dodge. And I th- there is one more, and I can't remember what the fourth one is. AMC. Did they make it? Did they make it? AMC's out of business, though. AMC's owned by. Uh, I think AMC is owned by uh, Dodge now. I don't think so. You m- Those are the three. The Challengers isn't a pony car either. It's an actual true muscle yeah, car. Yeah, it's a proper muscle car. The Camaro and the... The Camaro and the uh, Mustangs Mustangs are, are, more... pony, are a set of pony cars. Um, yeah. and the, like, and that's the difference between, is that's the difference between all three of them. Like the, the challenger is a muscle car. It's meant for like, you're meant to start that car and feel your chest rumble. Whereas the Mustang, you'll start your car, you'll start your car. You'll hear your chest rumble for a second and then it'll temper down. Whereas the charger, you, you your chest just rumbles. There is, you feel like <laughs> you yeah. feel the pleasure. This car is that you that, feel it internally. That, that car re- rubs it, your rubs your back ever so gently when you start and says, "Baby, let me take you for a ride." Whereas, baby, I'll whereas drive the you Mustang whispers in your ear. The Challenger is just wrapping itself around you. Um, I know for oh, you're thinking of Corvette. Yeah, the Corvette. Yeah, that's a that's another Chevy, isn't it? Yeah. The Chevy Corvette actually isn't all that bad either. I like Corvettes. Except the new versions are fucking way too sleek. They're like... Bo- you don't like the sleekness? Smooth, smooth boxes is my problem with them. They don't look very nice. See, here's the thing is that like... is like, And this is my opinion. Is that like when you get to the C6... The designs peaked... And then they tried something new, and now I'm like, okay, I'm a little bit interested. And now they're talking about a mid-engine Corvette, and I'm like, hmm. Like, it's enough for me to go, yeah, I can see myself buying that. Have you that. seen you the know, new like, Chevy uh, uh, ZR1 Corvette? Yes. It, do- it looks fucking ugly. I fucking is this all downforce and everything? Like it, if it, it, it's a, it's meant to be more of a sports car now, and I don't like that. I I always thought the Corvettes were always meant to be uh, supercars. I thought so too, but then like you go back and look at the old. I love the fact that fucking Josh put a fucking honeybee in the fucking chat. <laughs> I'm I'm actually trying to find another car I can faintly remember in the back of my head because like I saw it on Monster Garage and I'm like, fuck, what's the name of this car? Because it looks so goofy. They use it for one of their uh, challenges too, so like rebuild it into something else. And I was like, it's actually a rare car that they destroyed to make it to something else. And I was like, what was it? I can't remember. It's like fuck. Like okay, so here's my problem with the the ship, uh, the the Corvette, and I'm I'm gonna go back to the sidetrack real quick. Um, is it has that boxy front frame, and then all the lines are just smooth. It does. It looks fucking weird from the front, and that's my big problem with it. From the side, it looks fucking like it looks like a car that you'd be like, "Damn, I drive that." And then you see the fucking <laughs> front, you're like, "What the fuck is this fucking ugly?" It looks like a ripped off Ferrari. Yeah, and that's my big. That's that's the problem with yeah. it. <laughs> like every like even the back, the back looks like a fucking Ferrari, and I can't. I would stand Ferraris. Yeah. I can't stand most uh 
like Italian cars because they look too fucking weird. I love you, you German. Don't like I love elegance. I love the German sports car. Oh fuck a gremlin! God damn it! <laughs> Josh buys a gremlin. <laughs> But yeah, no, like, see, like, <laughs> I, I love to see, like, like here's the that's thing. The thing. Well, you can't go, go. Here's the thing. It's like, when you compare the Corvette and stuff like that, I can see the heritage of, like, the older Corvettes in the back end. And then the front just kind of looks like they kind of jibbed the Ferrari a bit because the front, most of the fronts of the, most of the older Corvettes are just pop-up headlights. And I don't understand why they just didn't put pop-up headlights on the car. Yeah, no, that is like my. Like, that's the thing with me with the with the the Corvettes is <laughs> the Corvette used to be really well known for that pop-up the, those pop-up lights, and it used to be for it, this. It was unique for this very sleek or very hard design. It was never both. It was just either one or the other. And the old Corvettes, I think, used to be a very boxy design. Then they went to a very sleek design during the 2000s. And then I've seen, like, nothing but, like, they're, like, 2015s and on, I think. And I just, I can't get behind them. I don't like the look of them. Yeah. Like, the problem with them is that, like... The, yeah, the problem with them is that like they're just too old. Anyways, we should get on the podcast. Oh, hold on, I got one more shitty car. One more. Uh, Go for it. Just post it. I don't care. Uh, see if I can find it. Because I think this is the um, the like the perfect pinnacle of shitty cars. Uh, it never got off of the. Uh, Never got off a production line. It was shown one prototype, and it just ended. (laughs) (laughs) This joke was so perfect. You did it so well. I know. I was like, man, I hope I can keep a straight face with this. This would be so good. (laughs) May the 4th be with you, by the way, guys. May the 4th, yeah. I... All right, oh, we got we got good. Wonder, I was gonna say, if people are wondering, it's the freaking Simpsons Mobile. Like, just look up Simpsons Mobile, and if you find it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, right, ready? Yep. Yeah, Sinking. Three, two, one.